Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am JB Gunner. As you know, I'm Teardrop. Now, today what I'm trying to do is A, test out my live streaming capabilities and see how it goes. But also, B, today I wanted to talk about a young man that has accomplished a dream that many of us have, but particularly I have, and his name is Christian Thomas. Christian Thomas is a young hiker, a nine-year-old, and he has become the youngest thru-hiker in the, ever. So uh, his name, is, as I said, his name is Christian Thomas. You see his photo right there. Um, I'm just going to read this article real quick from Fox, uh, Fox News. It says, Christian Thomas certainly deserves a rest day, preferably one that includes a stop at his favorite Chinese restaurant. On September 18th, upon completing the 1,200-mile hike of the con see, I think they got it wrong here. That's not accurate at all. Of the Continental Divide Trail, the nine-year-old hiker became the youngest person ever to earn the triple crown of through hiking, having finished both the Appalachian Trail and Pacific Crest three years prior. Thomas has walked almost 8,000 miles and climbed over a million feet in elevation on the nation's three longest hiking trails to earn the out. Outside mag to earn the title Outside Magazine reports. He says, I felt really proud of what I did and also what my family did. Then the first thing I wanted to do was eat at a Chinese buffet in town. <laughs> Little buddy had hiker hunger. Christian, uh, let me make this clear to you, buddy. I want to, his trail name is Buddy Backpacker. That's what it looks to be. But Christian Thomas, uh, if you ever see this, I want to say that you're my new hero, bro. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt, you are my new hero. You have done things that many of us hikers only dream of. And there's too many times you'll see negative stories in the hiking community. You'll see people, uh, maybe deaths on the PCT, um, <clears throat> bears rummaging through people's belongings. You very, not too often, or fake, you know, speed records. We Not too often do we get truly stories that we can be proud of. Christian Thomas, you are definitely one of them stories. So I thank you so much for what you've done here because I can't exp I'm a 37 year old man. And to sit and watch a nine year old per persevere through all the things that happen in, within a single through hike, let alone three of them, is an amazing feat. It's an amazing uh, motivation for myself and for probably many other hikers to go out and accomplish what you did, sir. So I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you for all your hard work. And I want to, you're a legend in this community, man. And uh, so I wanted you to know that. So let's go ahead and continue on with the story. I'm very proud to, to like I said, I'm very happy to report this story. Um, uh, anyway, to continue on, affectionately nicknamed Buddy Backpacker and boasting an impressive following on Instagram, the cheery fourth grader from Crested Butt, Colorado, made the journey with his parents, Andrea Rago and Dion Pagonis. This isn't the first time the family has made headlines for their adventurous, adventurous feats. In 2012, Thomas was the youngest person ever to vanquish the Appalachian Trail at age 5. I'm 37 years old. I have quit the Appalachian Trail several times. You're an inspiration to us all, Christian. Uh, seriously, you've done an amazing thing here. So he says, since hiking is something... Oh, this is the parents. Uh, since hiking is something we brought him up doing, I don't think he knew any different. That's true. Pagonis says, n noting that his son has always enjoyed meeting new people on the trails, I don't think he knew how big of a deal it was. You got some excellent parents, sir. Uh, excellent parents. And it's, it's funny because uh, five years ago when I came into the, uh, the trail community, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to take my young, young sons out there. I, I'm glad I didn't. Um, however... Your parents raised you up well, and so kudos to the parents as well. According to the American Long Distance Hiking Association, West, fewer than 350 people have reported the Triple Crown win to the organization. Carrying a five-pound pack through routine 20-mile-a-day hikes on the CDT, Rigo said that they never hesitated to keep their routes kid-friendly for Thomas. That's amazing. He never pushes himself behind, beyond his limits. When adults get tired and hungry, they make bad decisions and can get hurt on the trail. When he's tired, we recognize that, she said. Settled back at home in Colorado, Thomas is spending time with friends, playing video games, and feeling content. I might do one of the trails again one day, but not anytime soon. My feet are happy to be dog done hiking. Hey, Christian, man, uh, if you're on the PlayStation 4, man, hit me up. King, King JV 1776 that's my uh, PSN name. 
King JB 1776. I'd love I'd love to spend some time with you on that game and talking to you. And in fact, Christian, if you get the time, I would love to interview you. I would love to 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 see the adventure from your standpoint, from your eyes. Uh, and I would love to hear your story. Um, very much so. Uh, so anyway, this live, live stream is going to come to an end soon. But Christian Thomas, you're my you're my new hero. I just want you to know that, man. Keep it up, man. Now get back to school and make some good grades. And uh, man, hey, mom and dad, good job, good job. Everybody, give a round of applause right now as you're watching this on the YouTube for Christian Thomas, man, my new hero and a young man that should be your new hero. Thank you, thank you, Christian. I'm out.